I'm so excited about what we have coming up next. The Music City Strings, one of the top youth string performance ensembles in the entire country. The students blend classical favorites with bluegrass, rock, and country music all into an incredible high energy show. Now they've toured throughout the United States as well as internationally, being featured with a few people. Ah, you may have heard of people like Vince Gill, Amy Grant, Michael W. Smith. Music City Strings founder and artistic director is Dana Meyer. She joins me now with members 17-year-old Elaine Krell and 11-year-old Rilo Schaffner. Would you please welcome the Music City Strings? <laughs> We're excited to have you guys here. Dana, how did you envision putting students together and teaching them a high-energy performance with, with strings, which normally we don't associate with high energy. Classical music is so hard and takes a lot of work. So I always put fiddle music with it. Uh -huh. And then moving to Music City and with all the parents in my studio being musicians, they kept saying, have you tried this? Have you thought about this? And I wanted them to be able to do all the things I wish when I was a kid that I could have done. And Barrage was the first um, group that started doing choreography with this kind of music. So Elaine, when you started, did you have a favorite type of music that you liked to listen to? Not necessarily play, but just like to listen to. So I don't know, when I was um, a little kid, um, I went to go see um, my cousin perform violin and I didn't play at that point. And they just kind of asked me like, Elaine, do you want to play violin? And I, I, didn't, I didn't know what I was saying, I was like seven. And so I was like, yeah, and I didn't know what I was getting myself into. So, um, yeah, no, I would probably just say, at that time, I loved listening to Caleb on the radio. I would always ask my mom to listen to that. I, I remember always asking my mom, will you turn on the radio, mom? Will you turn on the radio? And so, yeah, it just kind of pop noise, pop yeah. sounds, um, like with Christian Contemporary. Rilo, what about you? How did you get started with violin, and how old were you when you first picked that instrument up? Well, my sister started playing violin first. Then actually my younger sister started before me. Uh -huh. And then that's when I decided to get into it. I was about seven years old. And then when I started playing it, I like, I loved it. So are you better than your sisters? I mean, they started before you, but are you better than them? Definitely. Are they in the, are they in the strings? Yes. Are they here? Yes. I wonder if they would agree with that. I'm not even going to ask them. I don't want to get a family feud going here. But I think it is just so exciting, uh, Dana, what you've created and given all of these wonderful students an opportunity to not just learn the instrument, but to have fun with it, which is what music is supposed to be, mm -hmm. to have fun. Well, I want our audience to get connected with Music City Strings as they get ready to perform. Keith is going to tell the folks at home how they can connect with the Music City Strings, and then you'll get to hear them. For links to Music City Strings concert schedule, videos, and more music, head on over to Huckabee.tv. Now, while you're there, be sure to watch an online exclusive performance of their song, Old Joe Clark. 